I believe that we are much more likely to reach the results we want when we go with difficult situations and not against them. Go with them and not against them. This attitude encompasses a gentle, forgiving approach to learning and making mistakes, rather than an aggressive, overly critical one. It emphasizes not taking anything personally, not anyone, any situation, or even ourselves. It underscores the importance of detaching ourselves from our emotions, good or bad, so we can remain objective, clear, and precise. While on tour with my quartet, the New York String Quartet, I remember playing tennis with some friends and clumsily tearing my Achilles tendon. The result was that while on crutches for a month, I injured my left hand, causing me to feel a shooting pain whenever I used my fourth finger. We were to perform Schubert's quartet zots, and my fingerings revolved around my fourth finger usage. So I, I, I definitely tried to withstand the pain, but finally gave up as it was destroying my ability to focus on the music. I had no choice. I refingered the piece around my third finger. Though this certainly created challenges, I was able to perform the work without the pain of using my fourth finger. So you see, going with adversity means accepting ourselves for where we are. In, in my case, accepting an injury. While continuing to strive for personal excellence, as a performing musician, it is important to realize that during a season of 80 to 100 concerts, you cannot be mentally up for all of them or physically well for all of them. You must understand that there will be times that you will need to accept the moment you are in, that you simply must make the best of it and keep moving forward. <laughs>